Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Bee Fly Beauty and today we are going to talk about new releases, um, mostly an anti-haul, but guys, I am excited about makeup again. I don't know how this happened, probably because I get to wear lipstick. <laughs> so anyway, um, some of these are, are, oh god dang it, oh no, oh it broke, it broke. Okay, back to our uh, program. <laughs> I'm so sad, one earring. It's a cool look, right? Um, anyway, so some of these releases are not brand new, but they are the ones that um, perked my interest, got me excited, and I wanted to talk about them. And then I will be talking about things that got me so excited, they are on my wish list, and I'm probably gonna get most, if not all of these. So let me scoot over so I can put a little ditty right here. Okay, so there are a few pages that I look at other than specific brand pages, but I use Indie Makeup Spotlight, I use Trend Mood, and I use Beauty News Official. So, here we go. Revealed, new collection. <laughs> oh God, I'm such a jerk. All right, so Trixie uh, is, <laughs> Trixie Mattel, love the person. Um, I don't even know if this stuff is going to be good because it looks so cheap to me which is interesting because she has this playful brand, which I really love playful packaging. I really, really love that. I love hearts, I love stars, I love rainbows. Um, and her other stuff hasn't looked like this. It, it's looked higher end playful, if that makes sense. Um, this just looks really bad. The heart one in particular looks very Claire's, very, I don't know, man. I just, I am not feeling it at all. I don't really care how beautiful it is. It's got to hit a lot of marks for me to buy new beauty products. I am, if you've watched any video of mine before, you will know that as much as I love beautiful, lovely things, uh, I just can't see bringing a ton into the home unless it's something I know I'm going to use, something that's really beautiful, blah, 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 right? This is, this is not hitting the mark for me. Okay, um, so Danessa Myricks is coming out with, I don't understand this. I feel like I need to look more into this. It's a texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring balm. The blurring balm powder. I think she is killer. She is one of my favorite makeup artists of all time. I love uh, her aesthetic. I love any of the products I've tried, which is only a couple, um, but I don't really, it's a balm powder. So I'm guessing it's a cream to powder situation. Um, she does a lot more full coverage stuff, which I do like to have in my kit, but I don't wear personally. So I don't think I'm going to be picking this up. However, comma, if I could put my finger in it, which, you know, is gross, but uh, if I can do a little tester at the, at the store, then we'll see. But I don't, um, see this as even something that were that would go in my kit um but you never know right like i have to touch it this picture is not enough for me the description doesn't speak to me and what i need but never say never she's got such a beautiful line and especially for makeup artists i can't say a complete no but for me personally it's a no okay i do not know this brand this is base blue cosmetics and it is the flower palette, flower eyeshadow and blush palette. I think it's a really cool idea to have the flower petals be the shadow. And it actually uses up more of the space than like the triangle situation that I hate so much. Um, but it's not calling to me. Again, I have so much makeup and so little compared to a typical makeup artist YouTuber person, um, but still a lot of makeup for one person to go through, whether I'm using it on other people or not. Um, I will never go through all of my stuff and this is boring, sorry. Okay, this one is exciting. This to me is playful and not cheap looking. It's a personal thing. We all love different things. Um, I'm not really sure about the lipsticks on this, but this is the uh, Jojo Siwa collection with Hip Dot. And I think the eyeshadow palettes look really good, but I think that there are pressed glitters, which I don't mind pressed glitters, but I like them separate. I don't like them in a palette. Um, I want typical eyeshadow in there. 
Um, but yeah, the lipsticks look a little bit, mm, the colors look beautiful. Like I am all for all three of those colors. Those look stunning, but the packaging, I'm just, I'm not picking this up again not really hitting the mark, but to me, compared to like the Trixie one, this definitely has way more excitement and high-end feel for like a more colorful, playful collection. Let me know if you're gonna pick any of this stuff up or if any of this is speaking to you. So L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour bronzer, a lot of different shades of bronzer. I love this. We should have been doing this a long time ago but it's a soft matte, which is kind of my favorite bronzer. I don't really like a shimmery bronzer, um, which is weird because I love shimmer, but I like a more matte bronzer. And this looks like that. I mean, I don't know how good it's gonna be, but I love the idea of the multiple shades. Um, I did a, um, a declutter series recently. It's just three different videos. Um, and I have a few bronzers that I love that I'm trying to pull into rotation again. Not necessarily to hit pan, but just to remember that I have them. And I have enough. I'm not in the market for a bronzer basically, but I'm not saying no to this ever. Just, you know, right now I don't need it. Okay, this, <laughs> I love this so much. Okay, this is the Care Bear collection from Wet n Wild. I don't need none of this, none of it. I need none of it. Nunza, Nunca, <laughs> Zilch. Oh, but man, that little bag with the rainbow. See, like I said, I love rainbows, I love unicorns, I love hearts, I love stars. I just want this, I want this so bad. Ooh, are those nails? Okay, if I accidentally see it today at Walgreens because I have to go to pick up something, don't be mad at me. I don't even use makeup bags, like little mini makeup bags. Like my purse that I use is a little fanny pack. I couldn't even fit a makeup bag in there. Why would I need this? It's so pretty. Eee! Uh, I was born in 81, so this just really hits me in, in the feels. Nostalgia. Nostalgia will get me, though. Nostalgia will get me. So I might pick up something, but, uh, you know, more for nostalgia, less for I need this makeup product. Okay, this looks so beautiful, you guys. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is so cute. This is the Pooh collection from ColourPop. I don't know, okay, the little honey pot, stop it right now. I am going to, I just need, I want this. That eyeshadow palette, this is like, I like that shape because it's not misusing the space. Um, so it's different because it's a neutral palette, but it looks a little different because the shape of the eyeshadows, um, but it's not like effing everything up. So I like that. And I think the packaging is stunning. I think the color story is perfect. Um, there's a, it's like a neutral palette with a little kick. So I think this would be beautiful if you're like wanting to dip your toe into some color, but these, I don't even know what's in those little honey pots, but I, ha I have to have that. If you guys ever saw the um, the Pooh movie, the more recent one, Christopher Robin, I think. Oh my gosh, I cried like the whole time. <laughs> I don't have emotions. Oh yeah, and the swatches look so pretty. It's a most, well, I guess it's like a peach green palette. Peach green palette looks really pretty. I mean, ColourPop shadows are pretty um, consistent, pretty good. The price is great. Like, if you love this color story, I mean... I just want that honey pot though. I'm not gonna get the eyeshadow palette, but that honey pot, I don't even care what it is. Okay, next is the Menagerie Cosmetics Sugar High Collection. It's a restock. Um, I think this palette looks gorgeous. That is right up my alley. I don't think I've ever tried this brand before, um, but ooh, man. Um, that sugar, I guess it's a sugar glider. Oh my God, that looks so, like it looks like, like I wanna eat it which is a problem because I like to eat. Um, and this looks really adorable. I don't know that I need any of that, but there's like multi-chromes in there. Definitely something that's more up my alley. Do I need it? No, I'm gonna get it, get it, no. What is this green business? This kiwi green something, is that liner, lipstick? I don't know, that's, if those three things are lipsticks, that's really pretty. Warm fuzzies, kiwi, and barkology. I don't know what that is, but yeah, I think this collection looks really pretty. Not gonna get it though. 
Um, another one that looks really good um, by Shroud is the Creepy Cute 2. Um, it just looks like a, like a mm, off, not an off brand, but like a slightly weird rainbow. Like, not necessarily muted, but like the blue isn't a blue. It's a like dusty teal, right? Like, so they're not exact. It, like the green is like a sagey, olivey green. So I do like that, but like I don't need it. One day I do want to try Shroud though. That's one that's on my list, but eh, it's not like, eh, that's, that's all I gotta say, meh. Okay, now this one looks freaking beautiful. Um, I'm probably not gonna pick it up because of the price. And this is the Adept Cosmetics. This is one that's like probably my top three to five that I really wanna try. Um, Cause I am someone who loves very shimmery, special shadows. I love different textures and different colors and different like flips on the color. Um, you know, duo multi-chromes and stuff. So Adept is known for doing really, uh, really good shadows like that. And so this one is the Heather Austin one. I'm sure it's sold out already, but it looks really, really pretty. I like the color story because I like wearing purples and greens on my eyes and then it's got some neutrals. And oh, what is on my lip? And it does have a few of the matte shades. I haven't heard a lot of good, like super amazing reviews on the mattes by Adept. So meh, I don't know but I would love to support her. She's a smaller channel, way bigger than me, but like a smaller channel. But these look stunning. This is definitely up my alley. Not gonna get it though, yet. Okay, this one, I've never heard of this brand, but these look really, really beautiful. I think actually that the ColourPop quads in the clear packaging are, this is like, this reminds me of that, but maybe like a higher end look. I have never heard of this brand and this is Mecca, um, Mecca Beauty. And these are different six pan neutral shadow palettes. There are some pops of color. There's a mix between mattes and shimmers. When I look at these all together, like in the picture, all I can think of is put that straight in my kit. Oh, those look like really yummy, really delicious. But again, I, I, if it's a brand I've never tried, I really would like to touch the shadows or play with it a little bit. And I don't, I don't really know where they sell this. Like I said, I've never heard of this, but the picture just really caught my eye and I thought it was beautiful. If you've tried this brand, let me know. If you've heard of the, anything about this brand, let me know. Um, I'm not sure if it's new or if I've just been hiding under a rock for three years, but yeah. Okay, now this one, is like in the top three of all of these right now of like, I don't wanna get it, but I might in the future. This one is the Wayne Goss Cream Foundation. Luxury cream foundation, excuse me. Sheer to full coverage. This I feel like would be the most perfect thing for my kit. A lot of what Wayne Goss comes out with reminds me of old school times. And I love that. And I think that this, if I could just try it one time, I just have a really good feeling of, uh, true gut feeling that this would be beautiful in my kit. I can't promise anything, but I have been looking for new foundations and this looks beautiful, especially if you can really sheer it out. I don't want something that has to be full coverage because so many people do not want that. And I, I just think this looks beautiful, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, I don't think you can even buy his stuff at like Sephora or anything yet. So I might see if I can get a sample, but that looks beautiful. Okay, a newer brand to me, Jones Road. This is, um, it's like a balm, a cheek lip eye balm with different colors. These look so juicy and mm, just, I wanna just eat them all. They look so delicious and they look beautiful on the skin. And I think this would be something really beautiful to have in my kit and to use for myself because I do like, um, especially in the summer, just a more sheer wash of color. Um, I am wearing a little bit of like, okay, a little bit meaning like some concealer and a tinted moisturizer, like a true like tinted moisturizer, no coverage whatsoever. But I'm wearing so much bronzer. Uh, you can't tell that I'm wearing like a sheer wash. Um, this stuff looks freaking stunning, stunning. 
Ooh, I'm like really trying hard not to purchase this, but this is the other in the top three. So like the Wayne Goss Foundation, uh, the Jones Road Cream Balm situation. That's like a all over. You can use it anywhere. Um, I just feel like this would, those two things would be very smart multitaskers to have in my kit. Okay, so um, those are all the things that really piqued my interest. There's been like a lot of um, perfumes and stuff coming out, but nothing that's you know, I don't know. I just, I have my signature scent. I don't need anything else, but okay. So there's a few more things that I wanted to talk about. These are on my list to purchase, like no joke. Um, my birthday's coming up if anyone cares. Um, okay. So you either love melt or you don't. Um, I do not have the original Gemini palette. They relaunched it and relaunched Gemini two. Weirdly enough, I want Gemini two. It just, it looks so beautiful. The swatches look amazing. Um, my favorite YouTubers that do like a more grungy look have just, it, uh, I don't know. Like it's, nom, 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 nom. that's all I can think about. I just want it. I want it. And I don't even really wear reds and oranges and like rosier tones on my eyes, but definitely has the greens in there too. This is, this is on my wish list for sure. This is not the anti-haul part. Ooh, guys, this is old now, but I want it. This is the Blend Bunny. I think it's the Surge palette. It's the one with all the, um, like, light to dark, um, shimmer, matte, and it goes all the way to neon. Anyway, I just think it's a brilliant, brilliant palette, and I've heard nothing but just rave reviews, especially about the mattes. Now, I love Kaleidos mattes. Um... I love BH Cosmetics mattes. I love ColourPop mattes. But everybody is saying that this is like best of the best. So I definitely want to try this. This is on my wish list. I think it is sold out for like the bajillion time. But yeah, I 100% will be getting that at some point. This, I feel like I'm never even going to get my hands on this because it's going to sell out so fast. And this is Cleona Cosmetics Dragon Fruit Collection. The eyeshadow palette. I don't care if I have these colors already. I don't freaking care. I have tried one Cleona shadow and it was freaking stunning. Stunning. It was insane. Like her shadows are like $30 a piece. I think it's worth it. This shadow palette, I need it. I want it. I'm getting it if it doesn't sell out. Okay. And then the last thing is Slay Fire Cosmetics is uh pulling out pulling out what ooh um is <laughs> rolling out their fourth anniversary glitter gel it's a slay fire glitter gel and it's got golds and neons and purples and it's just like all my favorite things so definitely want that i'm still trying to figure out slay fire um glitter gels because mine came pretty dry so they said to add aloe vera gel to it and that should work um but anyway i love that brand their customer service is phenomenal so mostly an anti-haul but also a wish list so let me know down below if any of these sparked your interest if they are on your wish list or what you like really don't want to buy anyways guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye